So, you want to play Shadowgun World Games on your personal computer? Well, this video is for you guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to play Shadowgun World Games on your PC. To do this, of course, the first thing that comes in your mind is Android Emulator. And yes, we are going to use an Android Emulator for this. But there is a particular Android emulator we need to use. Now, there are many emulators and the most popular is Bluestack and unfortunately it has some connection issues with this game. We also have Nox and MMU which are quite good and compatible for this game. But unfortunately, Mimu or MEMU has some problem as well. One of them is Google Play service. That's why Nox is most compatible for this. But I'm going to show you how to play on both of these. So let's get started with Nox. Now of course you need to download Nox and MEMU. Simply just search and download. And I reckon everyone can download and install an emulator. But there are hard things which you need to do. So let's get started with Nox. So once you download Nox, you need to search for Nox here. And you are not going to open this up, but instead go to its file location. And do this once more. And up here you'll see a multiplayer manager. Double click mm -hmm. on this and here you'll see an option. There'll be an add emulator button and select Android 7. So once you do that, you'll have to download this and then you'll have a setting option. Go to system setting. And make sure to select DirectX mod because if you select OpenGL, it will have problem. Now there are other settings and that depends on your PC. For my PC, it is high-end and I can give it about 6 core for CPU and for memory 8 GB. I have 16 GB, of course 8 GB is enough. Now for graphics, um, of course it's going to be tablet mod and you might want to have the most resolution to see clearly but you also do not want laggy performance so for this I'm going to use 1600 by 900 I'll also show you how to do that for the uh, Mimu multiplayer so search for MMU, go to its file location and do that once more and scroll down and you'll see one called MMU console double click on that and it will pop up right here. Just like the other one, click on new and select Android 7.1 and it should be 64 bit. Then go to settings and do the settings just the way I did it. But, yeah, well, I selected this because it's a different emulator. Now for Nox, let's go get started. Once you do this, open up Nox app layer. And it will load up and it takes a bit of time of course it is an android emulator and you're playing it on a pc let's get started <clears throat> take a bit of time this will be fine oh this is the wrong one and I need to open up the right one. I'll have to close this and click open on the box 7, which is Android 7, which is most compatible for this. It will not work on older ones. Finding the right emulator for your game is very hard. So, I have downloaded War Games already. But how are you going to play that on your PC? Well, you do need some controls. And for that, you have an option called Key Set. Click on that. You have that on an emulator as well. But I recommend you to use Nox. Because why not, if this works better. So here, we have all the settings. There's one. There's uh, another button. There's, uh, let's set this to... AX. 
this one is for camera so if you right click it locks and this is for the d-pad grenade this is for medic and this is you see here is multiple clicking button and you will see right here mm, casting drive create a change there is a multiple strike press the designed key once for multiple strike it is said that right here and what you'll do is it will help you to zoom so set it to number two that way if you click on Q you have to you'll be able to double click and with double click you can zoom or in other words aim so I'm going to show you some settings of this game this is stocks and I'm playing on 60 frames per second because usually on a computer you have 60 hertz I don't have any more than that so I'm not going to select 90 and the graphics detail is set to medium because that will give you perfect performance for this game and just like I said it is running on 1600 by 900 resolution and this is it not a lot of you have a problem with this key because this is popping up and it will get in your well in that case you can just click on this and hide it and then go to full screen if you want to. Yeah, right click, lock, double Q, just one Q, and you will zoom. Boom. So, thank you for watching. I guess you can now play your favorite Shadowgun War games, if I'm right. Hope you're happy, and I'll see you in the next one. I mean, next one.